There is a truism in postmodern life. For every rule, there are multiple exceptions. And of course, it can be a very tempting thing to take the exceptions and make them the rule. So, should singers aim at the exception as if it were the rule? Let's find out. Sound check. Check one, check two. Dr. Dan here with another Voice Essentials singing tip video. I love our community here at Voice Essentials because I get to answer your questions right here on YouTube. And one recent comment caught my eye. Gustavo Jacum writes, This is an authentic doubt. This do's and the don'ts video tips are for nerd singers, aren't they? I mean, I can't picture Jim Morrison, for instance, avoiding alcohol or smoke or taking care of where he puts his mouth. Gustavo left his comment under my video, destroy your voice in five easy steps, bad singing habits to avoid. And he raises an excellent point. For all the singing tips about vocal health and technique that I give here at Voice Essentials, there are umpteen exemptions, exceptions that can be called upon to seemingly refute their truth and validity. But here's a question. Does the exception cancel out the rule? Sound check. Pierce Brown, author of Golden Sun, writes, You will fall to ruin because you believe that exceptions to the rule make new rules. The exception is just that, the exception. Now, with the advent of social media, you know, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube, we're bombarded every day with exceptional talent. It is true that human beings are capable of remarkable feats and some of the stuff I've seen online is totally awesome. Now, when we see these three-minute video grabs and hear the highly produced audio recordings, it's all too easy to forget that often there are thousands of hours of preparation and work that have gone into this singular moment. These moments of exceptional human display have the power to both inspire and discourage us, and both motivations can be dangerous. Let me explain. The danger of being inspired by the exception is the temptation to circumnavigate the road less travelled. We see or hear a vocal talent and in our moment of inspiration we seek to emulate the singer's high notes or sexy tone, not, to, not stopping to consider that our own vocal anatomy is not the same as the singer we desire to copy. And in doing so we place our own voice at risk of unnecessary wear and tear. Now the exception can also discourage us. When we hear an awesome voice, we can feel vocally inadequate. Sadly, in Western society, we've developed a us and them mentality when it comes to singing. It seems there are those who sing and those who shouldn't. This, of course, is total and utter rubbish. Every human being can sing and should if their heart so desires. Now, there are exceptional voices who draw more positive attention than others, but that doesn't mean that the average voice, which incidentally is the societal rule, should not sing. Again, the exception does not cancel out the rule. Sound check. So back to Gustavo's specific question. Can we and should we treat and or abuse our voices like many of the old rockers did? I mean, after all, many of these singers have had stellar careers worthy of the praise given them. Well, at the end of the day, we all make our own choices, don't we? It's very easy to point to the excellent singer who, for example, has been smoking tobacco for three decades as an example of, well, he isn't dead and he sounds awesome. But the general consensus, both medically and socially, is that smoking is not beneficial to your health or your singing. The exception, again, cannot and should not be seen as the rule. Exceptions are just that, they're exceptions. Wonderful anomalies, worthy of note and admiration, but my advice is to firstly identify with the rule, and if in time you emerge as the exception, then more power to you. I wonder what your thoughts are on this subject. I'll be keen to read your comments below. If this is your first time here at Voice Essentials, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and join our ever-growing global community of singers who, just like you, want to raise their voice in song. When you subscribe, you'll soon learn that there are no exceptions to this rule. I close each and every video by saying, I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.